Hi, I'm Lindsay Miller, and I'm News and Culture Director at Pop Sugar. Storytelling has been vital to the human experience for as long as we can remember before we could write things down. And I think today what we're seeing is a really exciting sort of resurgence of people telling their own stories and really reclaiming that power. I really did want to be a writer from the time I learned to read. I always loved stories. I came over to Pop Sugar where I have been now for eight years. What's really exciting to me in my job is seeing just how much really personal, specific stories resonate with such a wide mainstream audience. I think it's about time that people realize that women can be interested in like a new lip lipstick shade, but also care about what's going on in the world. What's exciting about my job is that I get to kind of recognize the power that women already have and look for ways to amp it up even more. I feel so lucky that I do work in an environment with so many women at the helm as a woman in a leadership role, I really just want to live my values and elevate people and give them the chance to really shine. What's fascinating about women today, and especially the young women kind of coming up, is that they are really sort of redefining power on their own terms. And power doesn't have to just be an emulation of what we've seen in these sort of male-driven workplaces before. It doesn't have to be about tearing each other down and being ruthless, but it also doesn't mean that ambition is a bad word. I never thought I would run a marathon ever in my life. I thought, I have no interest in that, never gonna do it. And about a year ago, the team at Nike asked me if I wanted to train for a 10K with them, which is like 6.2 miles, I think. And a few months later, they asked if I wanted to do a full marathon. So I thought about it and I realized if I'm gonna do this, I want to do it the best that I can. I said yes a little bit hesitantly. So every week it was like, oh, I just went on my longest run ever. And then the next Saturday I would go on my longest run ever again. I train with a group of 35 other women. Even though running is a very individual sport, we created these amazing bonds with each other. So it was really a great opportunity to connect with other women, uh, really celebrate our strength, challenge ourselves. For me, being in the gym or going on a long run, lifting weights, building up my cardiovascular engine, all of that stuff to me is kind of a celebration, but also it kind of feels like a rebellious act. It's breaking the conventions of what femininity is supposed to be and look like. I felt so powerful in the moment when I crossed the finish line at the Chicago Marathon. As much as I love to see women in more power roles, I think what's exciting about that is that we're not um, necessarily wielding power as a weapon. We can all be empowered and we can all be powerful um, and celebrate that with each other without uh, using it to tear anybody else down. I think what motivates me every day is just trying to operate with decency in every way. I want to treat people well. I want to illuminate the issues that I think matter to me and to others. And I just want to be good and do good. I'm Lindsay Miller and this is The Fem Word.